Today we have an interview at Chambogo University with Sister Maureen. Sister Maureen, I've heard so much about you in the line of infection control. Could you please tell us more about yourself? Yeah, thank you so much, Robina. I'm called, I'm Sylvia Maureen. I'm an infection control specialist from Uganda who was trained by World Health Organization. There was a need by World Health Organization because there was no infection control done at all in Uganda. So they thought if they trained and they started with Pirate Hospital, which was Kisizi, they chose me to be the infection control lead. I went to UK in a hospital called Chester where I was meeting with other infection control specialists and they trained me and I came back and had many to train other people in the hospital we started and we started spreading. So, so far we've been really doing great work in many other hospitals and right now I'm doing infection control in Kampala and we've moved even other uh, you know, health centers around Kampala. Okay, mm. that is so nice of you. Mm. Now, from the time you got to know about the Alsoft V, mm. which is uh, the alcohol based hand rubs mm. that we've seen at some points within Chamogo University Hospital. Yeah. So, how has this alcohol based hand rub benefited your team in the hospital? Oh, this has been so great. It has done a great work. As infection control nurse, we've been teaching about proper hand hygiene, use of soap and water, yes. and using alcohol hand wrap. Yes. But in the country, as we were into, you know, trying to, to put these things together, there was nowhere we could get hand wrap apart from at times few which would come from outside the country, that is in the UK. When Salaya started introducing, that was our savior. Okay. We are now able to teach people how to use soap and water, yes. and then use this uh, alcohol hand wrap made by Salaya. And because it was, you know, approved by World Health Organization, it helped us when we are teaching hospitals to encourage them to buy that product. Yes. It saves time. When people are on ward rounds, you are sure that they will care for their hands. So wherever going for water, at times water is not available. Towels, when it is a dry season, they are wet. But this one dries very quickly. It kills many types of germs. We are sure that have protected our nurses, doctors, or people in the health sector. And not forgetting our clients who are patients, because they get a clean care and a safer care. So it is so wonderful. It doesn't stay in hands for long. Therefore, when you put it, you use it to go to another patient and then you're saving time. I can use it, then I keep on explaining to the patient and then finish, go to another bed. So it is so great and it is cost effective. Okay, that is so good. And then from the time you got to know about Saraya, mm. how have you benefited by working Hand hand I've benefited a lot as an individual because I have skills. At times I would want to go and carry out you know, trainings, but there was no money at all, funding. I contacted Mr. Mayamoto, who is a director of Salaya. He accepted, he sponsored a training in Kabale where we, we, we taught health workers from around you know, seven health center force and uh, there were three hospitals, I think, in Kawale, and who, who are going to bring a great impact in other lower health centers. So, they have also been able to work with the Eurobina in sensitizing you know, health workers. Because some of the health workers also didn't really take it serious care for their hands, and they didn't know what dangers they would have. So such a trainings were really so good. And another thing is that uh, Salaya people, when you contact them, can we go to this place? They are able, you know, to arrange, and that have helped us. If they could probably, you continue with that, because so far I have skills, I'm ready to go to teach, but at times no funds. Many invitations now, but it's very difficult to get there. So, uh, Salaya have really done great work in that field. You've helped me to exercise my field. 
some health centers. For example, Chambogo, they didn't have a hand wrap, and now I'm happy because of Salaya. When they came to teach, now they have accepted to purchase, and then patients will be safe. It is a great achievement. Wow, that mm. is so great of you, sister. Yeah. So, sister, you've talked so much about the importance of the House of TV yes. and the benefits you've received in the hospital as Chambogo Medical Center. Mm -hmm. So, what do you think we can do to promote public health in the country? Yeah, that's really a very good question. Uh, I think what we need to do, we've not covered the whole country. There are few areas and there are many other districts that are lagging behind. So now the few uh, areas, maybe around Kampara and in Kabari where we went, people have started using it. So if we could go, arrange ourselves, make sure we don't leave any district behind in this country that is going to promote health in Uganda. Because the people will teach, will go and teach others and even go to their homes. And that is going to bring a great impact in the country. Thank you very much. So from the entire presentation you've had from our infection control specialist, you realize that infection control involves everybody. It's not only for the health workers, it is for everybody because you need a holistic approach to prevent the spread of infections because you realize that our hands are the common vessel for spreading infections so we all need to clean our hands. Thank you very much.